Alaska Governor Sarah Palin has been harshly criticized since she and John McCain lost the race for the White House. Now she is speaking out. I'm much more comfortable in my own skin, in my own clothes. And, Sarah Palin is defending herself from criticism after the Republican National Committee spent more than $150,000 on clothing for the vice presidential nominee and her family. So I would have been happy to have worn my own clothes from day one, but uh, yeah, that turned into kind of an odd issue, an odd campaign issue as things were wrapping up there as to uh, who ordered what and who demanded what. But um, no, I was happy to get to come home to my own closet and put my own clothes on again. Palin also blames Bush administration policies for the defeat last week of the GOP ticket. The she told the Anchorage Daily News, quote, Americans were kind of shaking their heads like going, wait a minute, how did we run up a $10 trillion debt in a Republican administration? Would Sarah Palin's future political plans include a run for the White House in 2012? I'm like, okay, God, if, if there is an open door for me somewhere, this is what I always pray. Show me where the open door is. And even if it's cracked up a little bit, man, maybe I'll plow right on through that and maybe prematurely plow through it. But don't let me miss an open door. If it's something that is going to be good for my family, for my state, for my nation, an opportunity for me, then I'll plow through that door. Joining us from Washington, Republican strategist Bay Buchanan. Bay, good morning. Hi there, Harry. Good to be with you. So much for going quietly back to the wilderness. <laughs> um, as, if, as you look into your crystal ball, where do you see Sarah Palin one year from now? Uh, I think if she were smart, she's going to do a little bit of getting the record straight now. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I think then she should become a full-time governor and, and as, as a profession up there in Alaska, do a really fine job, to accomplish some more things, uh, maybe go into a couple of these Lincoln dinners around mm -hmm. the uh, 48 and make certain people know she's there, raise some money, collect some IOUs, keep those doors open. Yeah. But the key is hey, to give herself so more and more credibility as an experienced leader. Right. She can only do that in Alaska. I think she's going to be in Miami, actually, maybe even later on this week or next week. There's some big governor's conference. She's yes. keeping she's going to keep that 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 calendar full. What about the U.S. Senate? Uh, the, the, the race in the, that I think is probably going to have to be called pretty shortly here, maybe it'll be a couple months, but the Stevens seat I think is too early for Sarah. You know, she's only been a governor two years, Harry, and I think the greatest criticism of her is that she doesn't have experience. I think the people of Alaska would be offended if she just goes and now jumps to something else. Mm. Uh, I think she needs to get back to Alaska, governor. Be a really terrific governor, as I said. Accomplish right. some more things. Build that resume as an accomplished executive. Uh, then, if she wants to look at the Senate, I think it would be a good step if something's available, but all, not this next year. All kinds of uh, articles already being printed about the scramble for who is going to you know, be running in 2012. If you're going to make a short list, is she on the top of that list? No question. She would be there. Mitt Romney would be there. Um, Jindal would be there. Those would be the top three. But that doesn't mean there's not someone out there now that's working on their resume that could be very attractive uh, and successful. All right, Babe Buchanan, as always, thanks so much. Do appreciate it. Sure. All right.